So friends, let us discuss the chemistry of alcohols, phenols and ethers. So first of all, what are these alcohols? Alcohols have general form ROH and uh, here they are formed when one or more hydrogen atoms of any aliphatic hydrocarbon or an alkyl side chain of aromatic hydrocarbon get replaced by OH groups. So if I have to put, put this down, I say when one or more hydrogen atoms of any aliphatic hydrocarbon or a side chain generally this is an alkyl side chain alkyl side chain of an aromatic aromatic hydrocarbon they get replaced by get replaced by OH group this is the hydroxyl group so when you have hydrogen atoms of aliphatic hydrocarbon or a side chain of aromatic hydrocarbon get replaced by OH we call it as an alcohol in general so now let us take up some examples of such alcohols we start with the first one the, in the homologous series the first one this is methanol the second one is ethanol right you may even have benzyl alcohol you may even have something like this CHOH and CH3 what do you call this this is propane to all you may even have more complex alcohols like this how do you name this this is an alicyclic structure so let this be the first carbon one two three four and five how do we name this this is two methyl cyclo pentane one all so these are all different types of alcohols more examples you can find in your books uh, and even you can check my worksheets on IUPSC nomenclature you may come across a lot of these so uh, let us move on to that second important structure the second important structure is uh, the phenol or let's call this is a general name so we call this as phenols so what are phenols when one or more hydrogen atoms of an aromatic hydrocarbon get replaced by OH or hydroxyl group we get a compound which may in general be called a phenolic compound so phenols are those compounds in which one or more hydrogen atoms of aromatic hydrocarbons they get replaced by OH group one of the most common structures you come across is 
this which is called a phenol or a carbolic acid this one here with 2 OH this is called benzene 1 comma 2 diol also called commonly called catechol you may have the third type of structure in which the two OH groups remain meta to each other we call this as benzene 1,3 diol and uh, this is this also has a common name called resorcinol one of the other structures that we need to understand in this chapter is like an ether ethers are those compounds in which one or more hydrogen atoms of of aliphatic or aromatic hydrocarbon get replaced by either an alkoxy group or an aryl oxy group here this is called alkoxy group and this is called aryl oxy group so basically we've defined these three um, some of the examples of ethers this is called methoxy methane you may have another example this is CH3 CH2 OCH3 this is called methoxy ethane you may have CH3 CH CH3 OCH3 this is called 2 methoxy propane why because here this is your parent chain and OCS3 is on second carbon so these are some of the examples of ethers you may even have some aromatic structures which can form ethers this is called methoxy benzene right or this is the common name is any sol and you may have OCH2 CH3 the common name this is ethoxy benzene the common name is phenytol so we have some good examples of ethers taken and uh, now I would be quickly moving towards see physical properties and classifications I would not discuss here you can go through your books and uh, you can read the physical properties as well as the classifications right I would be uh, you know in this part I would be more concerned with um, you know giving you the preparations of all of these compounds as well as their chemical behavior so one by one I would start with preparations as well as the chemical properties starting with alcohols I would take up alcohols first 